Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create shortcuts to Amazon Web Service S3 data from Microsoft Fabric Lake House. This is an important data integration as part of data engineering task. So before we go into the demonstration, let's understand what is shortcuts in Lake House. In the second slide, we can see that shortcuts are objects that point to data that is stored in external storage such as Amazon Web Service S3 folder and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and these are the two currently supported external data sources. In addition, we can access data stored within the one lake such as within our lake houses and warehouses in Microsoft Fabric. And the amazing stuff about the shortcut is that it allows us to access those data from the external data sources without copying the data. So let's go to the demonstration part, how we can create the shortcut to the AWS S3 data. So I'm going to come to this Chrome. Now in this screen, I've got sales lake house created. And of course you can see under the tables and files, there's absolutely no information. For each shortcut, I'm going to come to this horizontal ellipsis and click on it. Now you can actually upload file or folder, but I want to create shortcuts. So I'm going to click on this new shortcut. Now we can see we have two external sources, the Azure Data Storage Gen 2 and the Amazon S3. And for this is the internal sources, which include lake houses and warehouses. So I want to get from the Amazon S3. So I'm going to click on that. And of course you can see this bucket, which is the container or what is called workspaces in Microsoft Fabric. So I'm going to click on that. And of course, I'm going to provide the name for the URL and other parameters. So for the URL, I'm going to go to the Edge browser. This is my Amazon Web Service Console. So I'm going to click under the recently visited, the S3 service. And then I can access the bucket. So I've got this sales data 007 which is a bucket created. And of course it's holding some data, the sales data and sales data folder. So I'll click on the sales data folder. And of course we can see the read data table to lakehouse.csv. So we can see the type and the last modified, the size and the studied class. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna access all the object information. So when I click on that, I can see the properties, the permissions, the version. So under the object view, we can see the name of the owner, the AWS region, last modified date, size, type, key, and so many other information. Now I want to actually use this object URL. So I'm going to copy and go back to the Chrome. And for the URL, I'm going to paste the URL. Now this is not going to work because the URL must exclude the folder and of course the file. So I'm going to delete this part of the URL. So we only need the name of the bucket, the service S3, the region, and of course .amazonaws.com. And I'm going to click on the edit connection. I want to show you something. Now, of course, this is fine for the connection name. Then we need to specify the authentication kind. And of course, the only kind is the access key. So in a previous video, I'm going to put a link in the description. I demonstrated how we can create the identity access management. And of course, we created the access key ID and the secret key ID. So we can actually watch that video to see how to create that. So in the interim, I'm just going to point or paste the access key ID and the secret key and then we go on. Okay, so this is my personal access key ID and of course the secret access key. So I'm going to click on next. All right, so in the next intermediate screen, we can see the shortcut settings. We need to provide a name for the shortcut, which is within our lake house. Let's just call it sales data from AWS S3. And very importantly, we need to provide the S3 location. Now this actually accepts folder name. So I'm going to go back and of course, I'm just going to go back one step. Now we want to access, okay, one step folder. Now I want to access this folder. So the name of the folder is sales data folder. So I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, type it exactly sales data folder. And when I click create, we're going to see that the connection will be established and there we go. So we have the shortcut in our 
Microsoft Fabric Lake House, which is super amazing. So you can see this little icon. This little icon tells you straight away that this is a shortcut. So when I double click, I can see the data, which is super amazing. And then we can go ahead and load to the Delta table. So I'm going to come to this horizontal ellipsis, click on it, and I want to load to new table. And let's just call it um, sales um, AWS data. And once I'm fine, click on load. And there we go. So you can see the data is loading to the Delta table in the lake house. Amazing, successfully created sales AWS data table. So we can see this is now our Delta table. Now this triangle tells you that this is a Delta table. And I can double click and I can see all the columns, the dates, the products, payment type, unit price, and the sales amount. And of course, I can go ahead and query the data in the SQL analytics endpoint. All right, so we can see the data fully ready in the SQL analytics endpoint. So to query data, just click on the new SQL query. And then let's just do a simple select. Um, let's do top 10 all the rows from the sales AWS table. So we're seeing, just want to select the top 10 records and then we can go ahead and run the code. And there we go. So this is super amazing. And of course, I can always come back to the workspace. And of course, we have the leak house and the shortcut is super, you know, working fine. So this is basically how we can create shortcuts in leak house. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, and comment. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.